the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today the Mass is offered for Sister Bernadette Curry, so we pray for the Franciscan sisters. We remember the and pray for the repose of Sister Bernie's soul, as today we honor Our Lady of Sorrows. Um, today we celebrate a feast day coupled with yesterday's feast as we honor the exaltation of the cross, so we also remember Mary standing at the foot of the cross. Um, in fact, um, sometimes the traditional hymn, the Stabat Mater, literally means that the mother is standing. The Stabat Mater Dolorosa, the sorrowful mother standing at the foot of the cross, and we hear about that in today's Gospel. Let us begin by calling upon the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary to pray for us as we ask for the forgiveness of our sins from our Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the splendor of the Father and the Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your Church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though they are many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our response, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, is we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his Thank you. 
Be with you. I read from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. In that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the, um, one of the things that we heard today was the first reading, which really doesn't have anything to do directly with today's feast day. Just happened to be the reading of the day but i'd like to use that for today's feast day because i think it contains an important truth um, saint paul is talking to the corinthians reminding us that we are all part of one body that we are all part of the body of christ and in the context of saint paul's letter to the corinthians he wants to remind them each to use their different gifts just as he, the body is composed of different members to build up the one body of christ so it's one about an encouragement of working in harmony, each according to our gifts. But there's another side to that, because if this is true, that St. Paul says that we are all part of the body of Christ, well then it's true that not only can we contribute our gifts to build up that one body, so we all help one another when we use our gifts according to God's plan, but it also means that we feel the sorrows and the sufferings of one another, and that we feel the sorrows and the sufferings of Christ. And it is that insight that I think is very good for us today as we think about Mary standing at the foot of the cross. Uh, Simeon had told the Blessed Mother in the presentation in the temple uh, when they brought in the Christ child, he says that a sword of sorrow will pierce your heart, something that um, would be hard to imagine when Christ was still a newborn infant. But 33 years later, at the end of Christ's earthly life, uh, there Mary would be standing at the foot of the cross, and indeed her heart was pierced by a sword, not in the literal, physical sense,
but in that figurative sense that her heart was pierced with sorrow because she loved our Lord, and it is in love of our Lord that is his heart was pierced with a lance, so she felt that wound herself as well. Isn't that true? When we love one another, when we have someone that we love very deeply, is that we suffer with. Uh, we suffer with them. That's the, the root word of compassion. Um, passio or passion is to suffer, compassion, to suffer with, to suffer with another person. And so it is that bond of love that causes us to sense that same sense of sorrow, to feel that same sense of grief, along with the one who is suffering. And so Mary felt very much the sufferings of her son dying on the cross. Um, just as Jesus, we said in the exaltation of the cross yesterday, and he was humble, uh, we said that he was also obedient, but that he, above all, he was filled with charity. He died for love of us. Well, it was Mary's love for Jesus that allowed her then to suffer with him, to feel that sorrow. So just as Jesus died for us because he loves us, so we love him, and so we also then share in his sorrows on this day. Isn't that terrible that we would have to suffer with Jesus? Maybe not so much, because the more that we love someone and the more that we suffer with them, then when there are great joys, then the, those joys are really all the greater. In fact, sometimes I think it's in the fact that sometimes we go through a difficult thing that when we emerge, we appreciate all, all the more. I think it was Thomas Paine who said that the things that we gain too easily, we esteem too lightly. Well, the, our salvation was won, not easily, but at a great price. And so we esteem it tremendously. So we have great, a great sense of appreciation for, it, for this. So let us suffer with Christ. Let us suffer with Mary. Let us carry our cross with our Lord, uh, knowing that as we share in his dying, that we also share in his rising. As we share in the sorrows, we also then rejoice with him in the resurrection. So let our sorrow turn to joy, because Jesus has conquered sin and death, and by the power of the resurrection, then we know the profound gift of eternal life. stand to present our prayers and petitions. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church and the holy people of God, that we might bear our crosses and sorrows with those of Our Lady and with our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for a willingness to lay down our lives in the service of others, and especially for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who serve us in public office and in public life, for those who work for the police, the fire, or medical personnel, for those who protect us and for their safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a calming of hostilities throughout our country and for a restoration of the rule of law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health of the sick, for the recovery of those who are infected, and for the end of the spread of illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, remembering especially today, Sister Bernie, and all the faithful departed, that they may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the protection of our religious liberties and the freedom of the church. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers that we make in faith, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Bishop, and Louis his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves, for the Church's sake, what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we talk about sharing in the cross or bringing our sorrows to the foot of the cross. Well, Mary shows us how to do that. So today really is a very special feast day in helping us then approach our Lord uh, because Mary gives us the example, shows us the way uh, of approaching Jesus with our sorrows in his moment of sorrow. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.